Okay, you can go. All right, I'll do the intro. Okay. Welcome to another video, and in this one, we're going to be installing our shower. shower. <laughs> Have you ever done tiling before? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of our van build series. In this series, we are going to attempt to build and install a shower. <laughs> so the reason why we've got a shower in here is obviously because we've got the room. Yeah. But also, we want to be able to live off grid in this comfortably. Also having a toilet and a shower, it takes it to the next level. We decided to pretty much position our shower here only because it sticks out like quite far. If we were to have it in the middle of the van, it would constrict that space and we felt as if it would make it a little bit claustrophobic mm. in there. Whereas if we had it like right here in the corner, as you walk into the van, it opens up the space yeah. a lot more. It's not um, as crowded down that end. Yeah. We decided to get a custom made stainless steel shower tray. Do you want me to get it? Yeah. Okay. Now it's 900 by 800. We made the actual depth 50 mil, and then it's got a recess of 10 mil. And with this recess here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have what's called Mr. Wet Wall. And it's like these shower panels that are waterproof and that's 10 mil thickness. So that will like sit in there and basically <clears throat> no water, well, hopefully if we seal it right, no water should get up and, and out of there. So we ended up finding a place where they could actually press, do a press for us because that's quite, you need like a special machine and the guy that made the shower tray, he didn't have that machine. So you must be thinking why go uh, the long lengths to try and just get this pressed well because what will happen with it being pressed is that now our waist fits will be flush flush with here it won't kind of stick up also this has just got like a, a white sticker on it it's not actually white it's stainless steel our next step is to position this in place and plan our piping plan our piping and then start building like a stud wall and start building our shower cubicle. Exciting! Exciting, let's yeah. do it. So here's a chassis here. What we don't want is to drill our hole and it's gonna hit the top of that. We want we want our hole to be anywhere around here in this in this area. So I'll just drill this hole and that's just gonna give us a guide to where we need to be. Here's our hole. This is where we marked roughly the best spot for our hole to be. If we drill this hole, we are going to miss the chassis rail and we're going to be in that nice area where it's nice and free and we can do our piping. So that's a good sign. Our first steps before we could start building our shower was to run ducting for our heater, mark where our cables are, install the insulation and put up support beams for the shower to screw into. Then it was time for us to cut the ply for our shower wall. Our first wall is going <laughs> up. So we're going to put our first wall in. This is going to be behind the shower. We're going to go 40 mil Phillips head screws and we're using the impact driver. Righty. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm just putting the drain in for our shower and then I'm just screwing the lock nut on underneath. Okay, so a bit of a progress update. So we're making basically the support for our shower tray. Um, now what we've done is we've cut up some pieces here. Now, like we were saying, there's a cross break so there's all different sort of angles and they're all sort of facing down into the waste pipe. And what we've done is we've cut these supports under here, but we've cut them so they actually chamfer down. We're gonna have 12 mil ply and that's gonna sit underneath the tray. So that will actually sit under here first and then these, cause it's upside down, then these will sit flat on the floor. Also with that 12 mil ply, we're gonna cut obviously a rectangle and then I'm gonna 
cut it um, in a diagonal and we're gonna have four sort of like pizza slices and then that way we'll, once we screw that down it will all fall in to the waist. <laughs> I guess once it's all made and it's all falling, the tray will sit on top. That will be real yeah. solid. Ooh. What are you doing, Em? I'm just putting some weighted bricks onto the uh, shower tray now because we've just sickerflexed it down. We're gonna leave it overnight. While the tray is setting in place, we started building our shower stud wall. Ooh. So, this is our shower tray. <laughs> And it's definitely not moving now because this thing is glued down, screwed down, everything. You ain't gonna have me. Is it sturdy? Oh yeah. Does it make a noise or not? No, it doesn't move at all. No way. No, that is, that is tough. Whoa, that is solid. Solid? Yeah. We have a nature's head composting toilet and here is a first time testing how our slide out toilet system will work in the shower. Next we make cardboard templates for our curved walls. When fitting out a van everything is curved, which makes the fit out even more challenging than it already is. So we just cut one of our walls for our shower. Now I had to scribe the cardboard a few times to try and get the exact shape. See how we go. I can't help you, sorry. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so sorry you didn't get to see us yeah. trying to do this, but I had to give Max a hand. I would have loved to tr watch him try and do okay, it. Let's have a look. But we got it in. Yeah, we, look at that. We got it in. When wow. If you can see. Yeah, that is. We've probably got, I reckon, maximum two mil gap in some spots. So we've got both of our walls cut to size and they fit very good. So the next step is to complete our frame. So what we're gonna do, we are gonna waterproof the, uh, the ply and we've got some waterproofing, it's like a rubberized paint. Um, but before we do that, we've got this waterproof tape and we'll put that in all the seams here up here and here and then we'll paint this waterproof um, rubber paint on and then we'll let that dry and then after that when we get our shower proof panels our uh, mr wet wall then we'll cut them to size same again we'll probably use the same templates as what we use for these um, plywood walls um, they should be the same they should be the same um, cutouts yeah. And then we can glue our Mr. Wet Wall, our shower panels on, and then we can, um, yeah, make it look all pretty. Um, and then also we've got to, we've got to get our our taps and and um, all our plumbing and stuff as well. So that's another job we need to do. Find out where we want them. We need to still order them. We haven't even got them yet. Um, and also we need to sort out our toilet and what we're gonna do with our toilet. But that is to be continued. We're still waiting on a few things, but we'll tell you more about that when we're onto it. Okay, so we finally picked up our shower wet wall panels. It's only taken us about, what, two months? Yeah. For this to arrive, it's taken forever, but we finally got it. Now, as you can see, we're gonna go for a darker theme in our shower. So this is black sensor and it's got sort of like a marble textured finish. Um, but yeah, so we're just having a bit of a debate, me and Em, between the color shower tapware that we should choose. I'm thinking silver, Em's thinking more of a gold color. All right, give us an update. Now what we're up to is we have put our stud wall in here with our niche fitted where it's gonna go. Um, and then we have cut our ply 
board, our 12 mil ply board in half just to make it easier to fit it in. Um, and also just to get that cut around the niche was a little bit easier. I was trying to do the window cut in the one piece and trying to get it in, it was just too, too hard. So now what we've done is we've just marked up where our, our studs and our noggins are so we can screw them in. We've just marked them with black marker. Um, we've got ran our cable here and this is chased through the stud and it's going to go around to a switch over here and then it's going to come back into the niche and it's going to be wired up to our LED light strip that's going to be at the top of the niche here. So that's another thing that we had to sort of like figure out prior to like moving forward. So that is pretty much ready to go. So now we're just going to screw this off, fit our top bit of ply up here, screw that off. Um, and then we are going to work on this wall. This is actually a tricky wall because we're going to have our frame, our cutout for the sliding toilet, which will be down here. But we also have to run our our fittings and our plumbing for our um, our shower mixer and our shower head. So there'll be a little bit going on here. Um, but once we do all that, then we can waterproof this we'll water we'll do everything with a primer and then we'll put down like our our tape in the corners and then we'll um we'll put down the waterproofing and then once the waterproofing is done then we can put our wet wall panels on so a little bit involved but that's where we're up to at the moment looks good yeah it's getting there we are putting together our shower niche 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 <laughs> anyway so we are gonna have an led light it's gonna sit up here now the led light that we're using is a waterproof led light strip and what we're doing is we're putting it in this channel here it's a 10 mil channel i think it's like used for tiling the niche, when you get it, is waterproof, completely waterproof. However, we need to run a cable through somehow for our electrical wiring. So what we've done is we've drilled a hole here, and this is for our cable. And what we'll do afterwards is we'll silicon that up so it's watertight. Our LED light strip is 10 millimeters, so this channel is also 10 millimeters, so it's perfect, and it sits right inside that channel. Shower panel is 10 mil. That will butt up perfectly against that and then it'll create like a nice finish and you'll have your LED light strip protected in the channel and yeah you won't see it so also the having it up in the top corner as well it's pretty hard for like the water to get up and under and in there we've made like a little sort of cut out there just to fit our aluminium channel and then we're gonna have our walls coming in here this is the shower panel. Also, when you're doing this, you can't cut them so they're square. You've got to cut the top and the bottom sort of like on a bit of a diagonal. And that way you'll be able to fit them in a lot easier and it won't be hard to get it in. We are working on our niche and especially the little feature that we're going to have. And we decided to go with tiles. These two come in 300 by 300. So we only had to cut like a little strip of two and put that down on our other side and it all fits nice and Snap. So, we've got our LED strip, we've got our tiles, we're probably just going to do it here um, and rather than like having it, trying to do it like mounted up in the shower, it'd be a lot easier. And then we're going to have our Mr. Wet Wall panels coming around and then we've also got our corner trim and that's just black and that will sort of go like that we'll have to cut might of the edges so like a picture frame and um yeah should look good time for the grouting we're just gonna apply this it's a flexible pre-mixed um tile adhesive and i've got here a four mil notched little plastic trowel get it on there and trowel it up and we'll make a tiler of you yet yeah <laughs> later 
All right, so we've left the tiles to set overnight and they have done that. They're nice and firm, stuck to our niche. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grout inside the gaps of the tiles. What we're using is a flexible grout and it's like a, not quite a white, but it's like a misty gray. Grouting like not even half a square meter. So what I've had to do is read the instructions and divide everything by four. So we've done that and we've now mixed it here. So it's like a toothpaste consistency. And we are about to get started on routing it up. So we just uh, grouted in the tiles and First time I've ever really done any grouting. Just had to keep working it in different angles because if you just work it in one way, it's only gonna, you're gonna create like little air pockets. So you just gotta keep working it, keep working it, and then dip your, your trowel, your sponge in a little bit of water and then just clean off all the excess. But yeah, it looks really good. Actually, it looks like a proper tiling job. Yeah. <laughs> so we're doing the waterproofing and we are putting down this waterproofing membrane. So see, we've got these gaps here. This is our shower niche. What we wanna do is we're gonna put this tape down over the, um, the gaps, and then we're gonna paint our waterproofing um, membrane, which is like a paint on after this. So we're here to talk about our shower. We finally glued our first one on last night and we also, against this sliding door, mm. we, we used about four pieces of long wood to kind of push it because that side of the van bends. Yeah. Uh, we wanted to make sure that it was glued tight to the shape of the van. So now we're going to glue the other two sides on. So we'll do that now. Okay, let's, let's go. Do it. Come on. That applies enough pressure for this stuff to stick. But that yeah, was... that was, um, it was like a race against time, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I am caulking around the edges of the trim just so it is waterproof. There's like these little gaps. Sally's wet area um, for bathroom, kitchen, and laundry. So this stuff will not shrink, crack, peel away, and it's mold resistant. So I'll run my fingers along it, and then what I'll do is I'll take the tape off, and then I'll use a bit of soapy water. It's just like dishwashing detergent, um, a tiny bit of water, and that stops it from sticking to my hands. Just installed our shower fixings and is it brush copper? Brushed brass. Brushed brass. Is... So yeah, this is it. We just installed it. Um, it looks absolutely amazing, I think, um, with the dark panels. Um, they got complement each other really well. Yeah. Anyway, what do you guys reckon? I'm pretty I love it. I think it's very it. nice. So now Ooh. what we are doing is we're working on this door, this hatch door here for our um, toilet. Uh, the main thing we need to worry with that is making it waterproof. We have made our little box here, our little trap door for our toilet, and this will be in the uh, in the shower, um, and it will just access our toilet from the shower, and our toilet will this will sit in like this against the shower wall, and you open it, and then the toilet will slide through Is the toilet through? yeah um now we're gonna get some like rubber sealer and we're gonna put like a, a rubber sort of um weather seal around here just so when this shuts it, it closes tight on the on the seal just so there's no water can get through because it's got to be watertight 
But yeah, this is the beast here. Composting toilet. Hey! So, we are making our platform for our toilet to sit on. And we've got these heavy duty runners. They're rated for 200 kilos. Um, we actually had to... So we can both take a shit at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> but they were hard to get. We had to order them in. But anyway, Bunnings don't sell them. So essentially, this is what's going to come through our little hatch door in the shower. And the toilet's going to sit on this. And if you want to go to the toilet, you'll open the hatch door and pull this out. And if you want to have a shower, it will stay back in its little home. Yeah, nice. So Hello. Hang on, put that down. Yeah. Push it back in. Hey guys, so welcome to our full size shower inside our van. Now, when we built this van, we really wanted to have a shower. Being able to have a hot shower whilst free camping or being on the road really elevates being on the road to the next level. So we've gone with a bit of a bold statement and we've chosen these dark, waterproof wall panels here. They really sort of make it like a feature wall when looking into the van from outside. Um, another feature of the shower is this Karoma Luna brushed brass multi-functional shower rail. This is amazing. It's really, really contrast from the, from the black. Um, it's a really nice color. It's also got an ergonomic paddle style uh, mixer. So you don't have to be turning two, two knobs at once. You can just operate hot and cold with one hand. This also goes up and down, so depending on your height. Um, you can also have it down real low if you want to wash your feet and not your, your hair or your, your upper body. Uh, another super light. So this is actually rubber and the, uh, the head is made out of like a high grade plastic. So for ventilation, because Emily loves her super hot showers, we've installed uh, a vent and it's 12 volt and you can, it's got two options, you can have it with the light on and the fan, or you can just have the light off and the fan just running itself. Um, and also if, you know, would it, that's not enough ventilation, we've also got a max air fan here so we can have both of them running at the same time. If it's super cold, we've got to have really hot showers. All that hot air getting out. <laughs> also in the shower, we've installed this recessed shower niche and it's got porcelain mosaic tiles at the back here and it just really adds to you know the shower being a real modern real stylish sort of look um it also acts as a function um you can keep all your shampoos conditioners soaps real close you don't have to be bending down it also adds valuable space it's got a 12 volt waterproof led light here at the top which is really cool and also adds as a little feature as well so yeah we're really loving the niche Loving the niche. That was my idea, by the way. <laughs> also, the shower base is made out of stainless steel, so it's super durable, doesn't rust, and we've added a teak shower mat here that fits inside the shower. So when you want to dry yourself, you can just dry yourself in the shower. You don't have to step outside, make the floor wet, and looks cool, and doesn't mold, uh, and yeah, slip resistant. So now you're probably wondering what this hatch door is. That actually houses our nature's head toilet. So we've got a composting toilet and it's waterproof hatch that we made. And basically you just open it up, pull your toilet out here on these heavy duty runners. So they're rated for 140 kilos and pretty easy. If you wanna to go to the toilet, that's it. Do your stuff, have a bit of a party. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite seat in the whole van. And then, yeah, we've got your toilet papers access at the back there. And then when you want to have a shower, just fold that away. That locks in nice and tight, rubber sealed, and then good to go.